Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'll be demonstrating some interesting features of Google Spreadsheets. As someone who produces content for YouTube regularly, I often enjoy just sort of scouring YouTube for interesting tutorials and then uh, remixing and adapting the ideas to a particular need or a just out of just curiosity if I can do something. So I came across uh, this YouTube video that shows you how to build dynamic dependent drop-down lists in Google Spreadsheets. Now this idea is really fascinating to me because it allows you to create drop-downs based on selections in another drop-down in a spreadsheet. So this is a great simulation and I really learned how to do the entire the concept through it. So I wanted to actually apply the concept to a, a practical use case. Uh, and the use case I've, I've come up with here is a travel expense report. So this is a, a very, on, on, on the outside it looks like a very simple sort of spreadsheet, but there's a lot happening uh, behind the scenes, um, including a bunch of queries and named ranges and even some scripting going on. And I'm going to show you some of it, but ultimately what I want to show you is what it does. Um, so this up here in A3, this department, this is actually a drop-down menu um, where I can choose a list of departments. And based on what I select here, the description changes in this box, okay? And then as a third step, based on what I select here, a VLOOKUP function is actually going to put in the appropriate expense code for that budget category. So again, just to demonstrate, if I am going to pull from the technology department, I can now click down as a description in here. All of these options are related to the uh, technology budget. Okay, so if I pick something else, if I take, for example, extra instructional expenses, I come back down to the same cell and I click, and notice that I have a different selection of, of budget codes to choose from or descriptions. Um, instead of having the person submitting the expense report figure out what each code is on their own, I use a VLOOKUP to fill that in over here. So if I'm going to use something from uh, the technology budget, and then I come down here, I can say there is a professional development budget. And you'll notice it's going to pop in the uh, code, right? So this is a simple VLOOKUP function that is looking up this sheet called budget codes, which I have right here. And it's just looking for um, that technology uh, PD uh, description and then it just pulls the the uh, column or the cell just to the right of that category. So this whole idea is a fascinating concept. Um, you can watch the other tutorial, this one right here, for example of how to build your own. But I just wanted to demonstrate a practical use case uh, for wanting to develop these dynamic drop-down tables. So anyway, that's it. And so it's just a very an interesting use of Google Spreadsheets. And if you're looking for a way to get uh, your business office involved in using um, Google Apps in your school, uh, this is certainly one of the ways in which uh, that you could compel them to uh, use some of the tools provided here in the Google Apps suite, uh, Google Apps for Education suite. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more later.